My name is Laura and I'm here with WB21 Digital Bank that recently reached $2.2 billion valuation and has 1 million customers. To find out how they did it, I came here to their company's office in Zug to meet their founder and CEO, Michael Gustar. Pleasure meeting you. Nice to have you here, Laura. So let's start with the first question. Please explain our viewers what WB21 does and what sets you apart from the competitors. The WP21 is a digital banking solution where we offer real-time account opening for private individuals and businesses in 180 countries. I would say what sets us apart from the competition is that we have developed a software which we call Global KYC. The Global KYC software allows us to identify customers in real-time in 180 countries. Um, the problem with bank account opening is typically that you have to be sure you are in compliance with rules and regulations of your specific country where you have your license from and that you fully understand who your customer is. Um, what sets us apart from competition is exactly the um, software we're using, Global KYC, which is a proprietary software that we developed. And Global KYC is basically um, a technology that um, identifies a customer based on certain criteria such as name, passport number, address. How has the company grown this fast and what are the main contributors to its growth? Um, I would say one of the most important things why we have grown so fast is because from day one it was our strategy to address a global market. So when we launched in December 2015 we were already uh, opening up for 180 countries. Um, as another gross factor is that we are addressing a market that's $22 trillion, which is a global cross-border payments market. So customers are primarily seeing our solution as an account opening and then a solution for sending money internationally. Now that a company has a billion dollar valuation, how have the expectations changed? Um, I would say the expectations have changed primarily in regards to how our customers see us. Uh, when you are a startup company, typically you can have more glitches and you can have lots of little uh, issues in the beginning when customers would be more forgiving. But once you reach a unicorn status and you go over a billion dollar valuation, customers really expect you to be as professional as possible. And how does the uh, real-time opening work? Do you have actually people who are checking 24-7 who are opening or do you have the software for this? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a fully scalable process, it's fully automated, so if a customer goes to our website, fills out the form, enters the information, then we have a software that's identifying and matching this software, uh, this information with various databases in real time, and then by the time the customer is done with um, completing the form, we already know if the customer will get the account or not. So it's a fully scalable and automated process. There were some questions about your licensing and where you're based. Can you tell me more about it? Yes. Um, so basically, when we founded uh, WB21, we started setting up a company in Switzerland and got our local licensing in Switzerland because we thought Switzerland might be a very interesting uh, country for having a fintech company. Um, after a few months, we kind of uh, recognized that there might be better places in Europe to go for the licensing. So we relocated our, our head office to London and we're starting to file for a, a e-money license out of the UK. Um, right in the process of getting an e-money license, the Brexit happened and then our lawyers advised us that it is not 100% guaranteed that we could use this e-money license in other European countries in a few years. So we had to come up with a different strategy. What we decided now is we decided that instead of getting an e-money license, we would file for a banking license out of Germany. So we have recently set up our office in Berlin and started the process filing for a banking license. So this is the European licensing part. Um, in global scale, we have identified uh, Singapore as one of the most interesting jurisdictions for having a license. We're following a similar model as PayPal does. So we are operating as a stored value facility under the um, approval of Central Bank of Singapore. 
Um, Asia is one of our largest markets for the growth, so this is why it makes a lot of sense for us to have a local license out of a, st a stable um, financial jurisdiction in Asia. And your company was able to achieve a multi-billion dollar valuation without any outside capital. How was this possible to do? Well, I had a relatively fortunate start because uh, when I uh, founded WB21, I had already sold my first company for $480 million. So I had uh, the financial backing to um, do the seed funding of WB21. Uh, I have invested so far over $20 million in the company and it helped the company to grow to this level. And what are your next major milestones for the company? Um, I would say we are currently uh, focusing very much on getting our licensing done in different parts of the world. So we obviously work with the German banking license, we work with the licensing in the US. Um, we are building the company uh, more from an organizational perspective. We are growing it to over 200 people right now, making the organizational structure more solid and more organized. Um, if you think about that we only had 10 months so far to get to this growth, then obviously there is a lot of work to do to grow uh, from a corporate perspective. Um, getting more customers and you know, growing from a, from a revenue perspective is also obviously on the agenda. But in that department I think we have already done a very good job. And could you elaborate more, for example, about your revenues, about your growth? Do you disclose these numbers? Yes, I mean, we have been very open with those numbers because we think it's important uh, you are transparent for, um, your, for the outside world. Um, I would say it's a very unique situation for a startup company that you have already revenues after a few months. Um, so last month we had over 9 million in revenues and it's growing obviously every month and uh, based on the 1 million customers that we have so far, uh, we think we have done a pretty good job. So Michael, what is your long-term goal for WB21? Are you planning to sell a company for a larger bank or maybe you're planning to go for an IPO? Um, well, I think our current plan right now is to t do an IPO around 2020. Um, selling WP21 to another bank for us would not necessarily be the best option because we assume that we can become a major player in the banking industry. So there is more potential in terms of uh, how far we can grow the company and what the valuation would be if we do an IPO. And what are some great business lessons you have learned from building WB21 into a billion dollar company? I think the biggest lessons I have learned so far is that you really have to focus on two things. You should try to grow your company as fast as you can. Obviously that's what all the startups are trying to do. But other than that, you shouldn't rely on third party money. You shouldn't say my biggest goal is going out, getting funding from venture capitalists because most startups think this is the most important thing. Uh, I would say it is more important that you create a product and you focus on making revenues as fast as you can rather than relying on other people's money. Thank you very much for your interview. It was a pleasure talking with you. Thank you.